there are four patterns that aren't explicitly outlined in the book that I'm going to flag for you now. There are patterns around successful philanthropy, patterns that may, in fact, be relevant beyond that. Pattern number one, I've already highlighted. It's this relentless obsession with getting better at whatever it is you're doing, keeping that bar up there, imposing excellence on yourself. Pattern number two, fewer, bigger, longer. What in the world does that mean, Tierney? Fewer, bigger, longer. You guys know this. If you want to get good at something, you have to do it multiple times. If, if we all decided to take up a musical instrument, and all of you chose one instrument, and I chose five, and we got back together a year from now, every one of you would be better than me, because I'm trying to choose five. Now, for those of us that are, you know, don't like to make definitive decisions, we say, well, maybe I'll choose three instruments and see which one I'm best at. Yeah, the patterns, inexcusable pattern, you want to achieve stuff in life, do fewer things in a more significant way for a longer period of time. Another way of saying it, it's the magic of compounding. You put a nickel in the bank and it grows at 10% or 5% a year, not right now, but normal times. Then what happens over time, you make a lot more money. You compound in your skill set. You compound in your reputation. You compound in the people you know in your social networks. All of those are compounding things. And so where do you want that compounding to occur? Fewer, bigger, longer. Important for this conversation, time and influence tend to be more important than money in philanthropy. Who knew? You look at the patterns back there in all the success stories, it wasn't just about writing checks. It's never just about writing checks. If it was just about writing checks, we would have fewer problems. Our schools in America would be better. Our environment would be better. It has not been a problem of money. It's not that more money isn't useful. It's that money alone doesn't solve problems. People solve problems. It's back to that talent thing. Insight solve problems. Innovation solve problems. Not just, not, just, not just money. And the final one, which merits a lot of consideration for those of us that, that are, like to think about things, is that execution matters more than strategy. Pervasive pattern in philanthropy. Pervasive pattern throughout the social sector. Now, that's spoken from somebody who has, let's say, three decades of strategy-related stuff. <laughs> Books and articles and advising and blah, 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 blah not to mention general management. Execution matters more than strategy. It doesn't, it's not that strategy doesn't matter, but think about any sports team. Is it the playbook or the players? The playbook has to be good enough, but doggone, it's the players that score the points. It's the players. And so in life, you ask, how does it, how does it, how do you get things done? And it's why the back end of the book with those four questions are so important.